Let's go through iClone 8 and some of the wonderful features. Now, like I mentioned in my Character Creator 4 video, if you've purchased add-ons, add-ons for iClone 8 or Character, or oh, sorry, iClone 7 or Character Creator 3, you can actually upgrade the plugins. So not the actual tool, but the actual plugins themselves, which is awesome because I've got quite a few and I'm glad they came across. Uh, link in the description for that. Also, if you're gonna, if you're thinking about iClone, click on the link in the description as well. One of the cool features here is Motion Director, I think is what it's called, yes. I'm gonna click OK to that, and we've got our character here. So we've just got like a bit of an idle pose. What I can do now is using my Xbox controller on the PC, she can actually go for a walk. We can zoom out. Uh, down the bottom here in the bottom left, we've got some buttons we can press. So she can do a bit of a jump. <laughs> uh, come back there uh, and she can also if we kind of move her around stop cool can you just tidy up your hair for me please oh no you're actually looking at a mirror well, that's cool um, I think if she's walking should we just tidy up her hair a little bit? There we go. <laughs> so this is pretty cool. It's gonna be great for background characters. How this all works, I'm not entirely sure, but I can tell you now, there will be a tutorial coming out on this once I've worked it out. So hit that subscribe button. Let's have a look at the auto motion alignment in iClone. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. So for instance, let's go hero stride. I'm gonna press apply down the bottom there. And then we hit apply again. And as I kind of scrub through this, you see that the character goes all the way back to the origin point. So this is kind of like the starting point of the animation. However, if I delete that one and click on this little button, the align position only, I'm just gonna use that one. And let's come to about here. I'm gonna press apply. Now, when I press play, she continues on. Oh my goodness. Do you know how much time this is gonna save with mocap data? And then obviously from here, let's go into dual welding of weapons. Uh, sure. You can have two rings. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So, <laughs> so for those of you who haven't played with mocap data, this might not make a lot of sense, but Also, it looks like they've got a new motion editor. So looking at this transition, I have the edit motion layer open and we can see kind of like when she stands down that that foot slides. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come in at the start of the clip, which is right here. If we have a look, make sure we turn off this vertical pose alignment or we get some funky issues. Um, and now with that keyframe set, I'm gonna come to the start and let's just kind of like realign it because we've got foot snapping turned on. I'm kind of hoping that that foot doesn't really move. And that was what actually happens is she just moves her left foot out. What we might do is come to this point here, this contact pose. I'm just gonna move her leg out a little bit. Let's set this out as a keyframe. And then I'm just gonna lift her foot up just a smidgen more. And then hopefully now, it's a, it's a little bit a little bit harsh there, but um, if we increase that blend, which I'll try. There we go. We get like a more of a uh, nice blend there. I really like this method of animating the character like this. Just remember when editing like this, if you just go ahead and later on just move uh, the foot. So for instance, let's go up here, just an example. You'll see that that foot will kind of just float in the air with the IK on. So that's just something to be wary of, but I really like this mes method of using the edit motion layer. Um, but in saying that, it's got some really cool effects. So if we grab this, you can kind of see, even though I'm pulling the arm, the whole body is actually moving. So I reckon that is such a cool feature. So 
So although I will primarily be using the mocap suit, I really do like how they've got this set up with all the constraints and you know. <laughs> I think this is gorgeous. I think what iClone have done is amazing with this aspect. Oops, sorry, break your leg. <laughs> so another cool thing that we can do is we can right click on our clips down the bottom, come over into motion correction. And from here, I'm going to just select um, correct. And now what this is set up is our foot placement in this clip. So for instance, we can see where this foot is moving. Actually, let's select everything and we'll go correct. And now we can see through this walk cycle where the feet are landing. Okay. So what's cool about that is now I can come in and find our, what do we, what's this, left foot. And we can come through and find all our left foots in here. I can now press W and I can actually move this foot over. And so what's going to happen is as she walks now. Sorry, let's grab both the left foot and the left toe. And now if I were to move these over, what's going to happen is as she walks. Her foot placement now will be all the way over there. But what's actually happening is the foot is snapping to that location. So during this period, if we actually increase the timeline and actually have a look what's going on and we come into the reach, let's come down to our left foot here. So we can see at this period here is when this foot is snapping. Obviously it looks a little bit rough as guts, um, cause I've increased how far the legs moving, but if we wanted to make sure that it snaps a little bit earlier, we could bring these forward. And so now that foot will snap even sooner. Oops. And if we want that foot to stay there longer, you can also increase the blending of where that foot is just by pulling that handle out. So the other cool thing is, is if we select both of them again, 298, 297, we can actually create it so she's actually stepping on something. So if I were to go ahead now, create primitive shape box, we can see that footprint is now on top of the box. So as she walks, there we go. So this is something where we can animate it uh, because obviously everything's got a keyframe at the moment. So if we came in and really cleaned up that animation, that foot would snap to there. That's a cool feature. So there are a few other features, but we'll go through that in a later video. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. And also if you want to pick it up, there is a link in the description. Make sure you click on that.